What's up guys, Johnny here, back with another Call of Duty Mobile video. We got a new feature in Call Mobile, guys, was added yesterday. And we will look into it today and we'll try to explain. Because there's a lot of confusion. I see some really weird posts on social medias, Twitter and Reddit, and we'll look into it. So first of all, there's a new soldier crate, okay? Park soldier crate, not here to debate if it's a cool skin or not. This is not the topic today. But there's a new feature, and if you look at the top, the purple uh, thingy says Park Soldier Crate Reward Guarantee 0 out of 100. So what exactly does it mean, and why is it a good addition to the game? Because there's a lot of negative feedback. So what does it mean? Reward Guarantee means if you open crates and you don't get it, and you keep on opening more crates and you don't get it, well, if you reach 100 crates, you are guaranteed to get the soldier at 100 maximum. And if you guys remember, the odds usually on soldier crates are always 1%. And I did buy some in the past. And sometimes you get lucky and sometimes you get unlucky. I remember buying a soldier crate and getting the, the soldier on the first 10 crates. So I got lucky. But if you guys remember, battery torque... I had to open 130 crates and just last week when I got like uh, a few days ago the dead soldier Alice the angel I had to open 110 if I remember correctly so yeah even if the odds are one percent you were not guaranteed to get it in a hundred crates and that's what people don't understand statistics and probabilities it's not something you study in grade school, not even in middle school. So sometimes in college and university, you'll work in statistic and probabilities a little bit deeper. So I did get some comments on my video. Some guys say, what? Like, how is it possible? The odds are 1%. How is it possible that you had to open 110, 120? It's impossible. Well, it is. And let's take flipping a coin for example if you flip a coin there's a 50 percent chance you get heads or tails now is it possible that you flip the coin twice and you don't get heads because it's random things happen it's even possible that you might get heads four or five times in a row even if it's not likely but that's only flipping a coin imagine rolling a dice with six possibilities and you're trying to get six well, it is possible that you might not get or roll a 6 in like 10, 11 rolls. Although it's not likely, usually you'll get it in about 6 times on average. But that's the thing with stats. People don't understand that. And, well, let's talk about that. Like, is it good or bad? Let's check out the social medias real quick. So the first one is from Twitter, and it's Noah. I said, reward guarantee. Call Mobile keeps taking steps in the right direction. So Noah thinks it's actually a positive, a good addition to the game that we finally get a guarantee. And then in the comments, some guy says, what? Are you crazy? You gone insane. You know what? A hundred crates is a hundred dollars. Do you know that? Well, dude, that's the thing. Okay. It is like, it doesn't mean you have to spend a hundred dollars to get the skin. What it means is you will not have to spend more than a hundred. It's a new maximum. It's a limit. Now, same thing on the Call of Duty Mobile Reddit. Another post from someone else. It's not Noah. It says a step in the right direction. Park Soldier Crate finally getting a reward guarantee. And then again, scrolling in the comments, guys. This dude right here says, dude, you have to spend a hundred dollars to get it. Not the right direction, Lamau. And then the original poster said, well, the price depends on your region. But in previous crates, some guys had to spend well over $100 to get the soldier skins, guys. So that's exactly what I'm saying right here. Sometimes you get lucky, sometimes you get unlucky. But the reward guarantee, it doesn't stop you from being lucky and still get a lucky roll and get it on your first or second try, you know? It's still gonna happen. But what is no longer to happen is when you get unlucky and you go over 100 crates to get it. Because yes, it happens. And it happened to me twice and I don't even buy all the crates. So if that guaranteed reward 
was implemented back then when I bought the battery torque. I would not have had to go 130 crates for that one. And I would have got it at 100 max. Uh, same thing for the Dead Angel Ali skin. If I had the guaranteed reward last week when I opened these crates, well, when I reach 100, it would have stopped and I would have got the guaranteed reward. I would not have had to go 100 plus. And that is why, guys, the new addition, I really hope they will keep doing it. And even after this video, I'm pretty sure some guys will not understand because maths and stats, it's not for everyone. And it's not something that you can see. It's not something you can touch. It's an idea. But RNG part of many, many games. And I see frustration related to that in other games because people don't understand and they get frustrated by it. But anyways, the, the topic is not about, is it okay to pay a hundred bucks for a skin? Of course not. Of course it's very high priced, but the game exists to make money once again. And if they lowered the price and they made more money, don't you think they would do it, right? Yeah, they would. The reason why these skins cost about a hundred bucks is because that's how they make the most money. And again, not gonna debate that today, but that's not the topic. So anyways, like I said, it is a good addition if you understand what it means. Yes, I hope they will keep doing this in the future. I would like to see a guarantee reward uh, on all the future skins or all the future crates because yeah, it limits the bad luck and the unlucky rolls and everyone still has a chance to be lucky and that's what I think. Now, once again, I will not go for it guys. I'm not gonna buy this skin because I don't see myself using it. The video was not about spending money today. It was about explaining the new feature and I really hope it helps and I really hope you guys understand now it is positive for, for spenders, but it doesn't change anything for the, the free to play players. Now about the price, of course, the company is here to make money. They will do whatever they can to make the most and trying to keep the players happy, I guess. But anyways, that's gonna be it for today, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Leave a like if you did. Hope you guys understand now and that will put an end to the debate. And once again, it's not about how much the skins cost. It's just about making the players happy, limiting the bad rules. So yeah, thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel for more. I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.